In this video, I'm going to show you how to import sound and video files into Keynote uh, and then have them start from certain sections. First thing that we obviously need to do is have a Keynote slide open uh, with a spot ready for us to put our video in or sound file. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I've uh, moved my sound and video file to my desktop here so I can simply just click and drag them in. Don't need to worry about placement because we can click and move it around once it's in. We can also hit the corners and move it around once it's in also. If we wanted to start this video from a certain part, say for example it was a documentary or something like that and we only wanted people to see a certain part of it, what we need to do is click on the inspector button up the top here. Sometimes it will automatically open, other times it won't. So we've got a couple of different options here. We've got the start and stop option, which is simply um, where we want the video to start when people click on it and where we want it to finish. So there might only be certain parts which are really interesting. So I'm just going to quickly uh, go in a little bit and move this one up a little bit as well. The video that I've actually got here is a music band. Uh, they're pretty cool. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below, check them out if you like. Uh, the poster frame here is the picture that you'll see when you click on the slide. Uh, so at the moment it's just set where I've started the video, uh, but the cool thing about this is it doesn't necessarily have to be a poster frame from when, within uh, the clip that you've got here. So you might want to have something near the start here or something like that. So I'll sit it just there. Uh, the other options here are pretty basic. So start movie on click, so I'm going to check that one in. Uh, our repeat option here, we've got a couple of options. We can loop, which just means that it's just going to loop this section over and over. Uh, if you loop back backward and forth, it gets to the end of this section and then plays it backwards, uh, which sounds kind of weird, but you can do that if that suits. Uh, from there, that automatically saves, so that's good to go. Uh, if we just click the play button here, we'll actually be able to test it. So as you can see, they're a very, very simple way of doing that. Uh, I'll just delete that one and I'll show you how to use the audio one. Very, very similar. Click and drag it in. Get yourself a nice little music symbol here. Okay, exactly the same thing. We've got start and stop uh, options and we do have the repeat option. And so that's how we add video and sound files uh, into Keynote. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Other than that, Thank you for very much for watching.